All right, hey everybody, let's take a look at Lee code 383, ransom note. And basically in this problem, you're given two strings, one's called ransom note, and the other one's called a magazine. And you wanna return true if a ransom note can be constructed using the letters from the magazine. And if they can't, you're just gonna return false. And it tells us here that each letter in a magazine can only be used once in this ransom note. So I think for this problem, we should just jump right into paint and take a look at this visually. So basically, let's look at example one, for example. Our ransom note is just the letter A, right? And you can imagine like a magazine, in this case, as it says, is just B. And we can't in any way create A because we only have a B, right? So let's look at another example. This was a little bit too deceptively simple. Let's look, let's say a ransom note, we'll call it R, is equal to A, A, right? So we have two A's, but our magazine M, two A and a B, right? Can this generate a ransom note? No, this can't generate a ransom note either because in our magazine, right? If you imagine a magazine and we're cutting out the letters, we only found one A. So we can use this A right here to use it up here. But now remember, we cut it out of our magazine Right, we put it on our little piece, we glued it on our piece of paper, and this A now is gone. We've used it up, and now all we have left is this B. So, this should probably like hint at something. Let's look at one more example. Let's say our ransom note R is equal to AA again, and this time our magazine M is going to be A, A, and a B. Cool. So now that we have this, we can see that in this case, we have an A, but we also have an A, an A here, so we can use it. So this A gets used, we get to throw it away. And we have another A that we want to use, but we check here and we have an A to use. Cool. That's done. We can make a valid ransom note from this. So how do we do that? Well, as you can see, I was like counting, mentally I was counting how many letters we have of each. So we just need to tell our program to do that. And how we do that, I think, would be from a, um, a map, right? So we can just map each character to the amount of times that it occurs. So let's say we have like a map that maps from a character to uh, an integer, right? So this is gonna represent the count. So we're going to go through the magazine, right? Because the magazine is what lets us generate the characters from the note itself. So we're going to say, okay, well, we have an A. So we're here. So we put, okay, we have one A. Then we go to another A. So, okay, cool. We have two A's now. Then we go to a B. And then say, okay, cool, we have one B. And now when we loop through this again, so let's use like green, we look at A and say, oh, cool, we have two A's. Let's use one up. So we use it up, put it back down to one. It's like, oh, cool, I need another A. Oh, and I have exactly one A. Cool, let's use it up. Zero, and I'm done, right? And let's say our ransom note would be something like AAA this time, right? And we used up these two. We would look here and we'd say, oh, well, there's zero A's left, so we can't do that. So that's how we're going to do it. So let's jump right into the code, I think. So like we mentioned, we're going to use a, um, a map. So we're going to say on ordered map, I'm going to map from a character to an integer. I'm going to call this map M. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for character, we can pass it in by reference in our magazine. So for character C in the magazine, we're going to basically do this. M of C is going to equal to one plus M of C. Basically what this does is it increments the count of our um, characters. And we have this. And then once we did this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say for character by reference C in the ransom note, we're gonna first check if that character even exists in our map in the first place, right? So we're gonna say if m dot count C and right so if m dot count c that just returns if there's something in there in that map with this key with this character but we also want to check not that it's in there but we want to make sure that its count is greater than zero right because if it's zero 
we can't use that character anymore. We have none left. So we'll say, and m of c is greater than zero. If that holds up, what we're going to do is we're going to basically, do, we're going to take the m, or we're going to take the map, and we're going to go into the map using the character as the key. We're going to decrement that count. Um, else, we're going to return false, right? Because the only other conditions are our letter C is, was never in the magazine in the first place. Or when we try to get the letter from the magazine, there were no more left. And if we pass both of these loops successfully, we just return true. So let's see if this works. Awesome. Let's see if it works for any of these test cases. Cool. Let's submit it. Awesome. It runs. So let's talk about runtime complexity. Runtime complexity is basically linear, right? Because you go through in linear time, you basically just add a, each letter one by one. You do the same thing for the ransom notes where you're checking, right? So it's also a linear operation. And I guess you could say this would be a linear based on the longest of these two, right? So whichever one's longer. Um, so that would be the runtime. Space complexity is going to be linear because you're taking up some memory when you're creating this map to keep track of um, how many characters you have in your magazine. So that's pretty much all there is to it. A pretty simple problem. It's a very good problem for using um, basically hash maps. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it.